Everything that you see here, including myself, has been digitally created by AI. The expressions of my face as I talk, the movement of my head, my hair and my lips. Even my voice, tone, pace and lip sync have also been created by some of the AI tools that you're about to learn about. But rather than feeling scared or apprehensive about it, you should embrace it and hopefully you learn something in this video that opens your eyes to the possibilities of this new technology. I hope you can stay to the end because I have some really mind-blowing things to show you that will get your creativity fired up big time. And straight off the blocks, the first tool I want to talk to you about is Runway. This is a suite of tools for photo and video that generates specific effects that if you were to create them in your editing platform or computer, it would bring it to a snip. InPainting is an amazing AI tool that will allow you to erase anything from your videos, whether it's moving or static, way faster than your computer can by a long stretch. And what is incredible about it is that this tool will actually recreate the background behind whatever it is that you erase in real time. So no need to create layers or animate masks or anything like that. This is all done for you in a matter of seconds. And I think this is insane. Another tool that I want to mention is Blur Background. And before we dive in, I just want to be clear on this, okay? You can do this effect in your editing platform using Magic Masks in DaVinci Resolve, for example, or whatever it's called in your editing program. But if you ever tried this before, you know full well that this is really demanding on your computer. So any sense of real-time playback goes out the window because it literally is just pie in the sky. Here, on the other hand, it's all done in a matter of seconds and you get real-time playback, which I think it's insane. With this, you can use any cheapest camera like a phone or a Pocket 2 and in a matter of seconds, make it look like you're filming with a much more expensive camera. This, in my opinion, opens up a lot of possibilities because for vlogging, for instance, this is phenomenal because you can now teach your expensive heavy camera, use a tiny Pocket 2 and make it look like you film with a mirrorless camera but with infinitely better stabilization. If you have any video footage that is soft or blurry because of a mistake or because of a lens issue, whatever that is, this AI tool will recover the shot and it will make it look like it was shot pin shot. I have absolutely no idea how it does it, but this is the closest to magic I've ever seen. I've pulled through it some drone footage that was soft because of the problem with the lens adapter. And what I got at the end of the render, it's literally mind-blowing. The footage looks as sharp as if I never had an issue whatsoever. Just think about the possibilities of this. I've tried to replicate this using sharpening and different sharpening techniques in DaVinci Resolve, and I can't get anywhere near close to what this tool can do. And you don't even need to do anything really, you just drop the footage Tick a couple of boxes and off you go. <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. This tool will save you from having to reshoot almost anything. And it could well be the difference between making or losing a ton of money. Imagine you have a shot where the focus puller didn't quite hit the mark. With this tool, you can easily get that shot pin shot. I honestly don't know how this tool does what it does, but the results are insane. And if you're liking this video so far, make sure you hit the like button or even better, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure you hit subscribe. Now, the next one I want to show you is called Mac Whisper. And this is an amazing little AI tool for Mac users that will allow you to auto transcript in seconds any video audio you throw at it. If you do TikToks, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, this will save you so much time because you don't have to go through weird workarounds in order to get the captions done for your short or your video. Time is money and this little AI tool is going to save you a lot of it. And you can also transcribe entire videos for YouTube or even broadcast in a matter of seconds and you can literally see the magic happen in front of your eyes. It's pretty insane and the best of it, the free version is probably all you're ever going to need. The next one in my list is Adobe Speech Enhancer. And what this tool does is to help you turn any bad audio into something that sounds like it was recorded on a professional microphone. This can and will literally save your ass if you made any mistakes, forgot to record audio, or anything happens halfway through a take and you left with no audio other than what was recorded as guide track on your built-in phone or camera microphone. <laughs> now, I found that this works best indoors for outdoors, in my opinion, the effect doesn't sound quite believable, but that's just my personal taste, so bear that in mind when you use it. 
The way it works is really simple. You just drag and drop the file into this box and a few seconds later, the algorithm will spit out an enhanced version that is probably gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna now be testing the Adobe Speech Enhancer and I'm gonna be turning badly recorded audio into something that sounds as if I have recorded with a professional microphone. The next AI tool is for photography and what this tool allows you to do is to remove anything from an image and recreate the background behind it in a matter of seconds. <laughs> it's insane. No need to learn any programs like Photoshop or similar. So if you do any type of photography, whether client work or personal, YouTube thumbnails, social media content, this is, in my opinion, a great tool to have. Before you now say, well, yeah, this is something that you can easily do in Photoshop with the film. Okay, but let me show you. Yes, okay, there will be times where you can select whatever it is that you want and then you go into edit fill and content aware and it will remove it and yeah it will do a very good job but let's say that you want to do the same here okay so let's say that we want to remove that and then you come to fill content aware yes it removed it but it didn't recreate the background the way the cleanup pictures did and it did it so so quick just you know, two clicks of a button and it's done. And it's so cheap as well. I think this tool for anybody that uses photography, this is a must. DaVinci Resolve is an editing program that has improved exponentially over the last few years. And the one I want to focus on is called voice isolation. In the past, if you apply any noise reduction to any voice, you know full well that the more aggressive you are with the effect, the more it takes away from the voice and things start to sound a little bit unnatural. A camera set up for vlogging than the uh, old thing. A camera set up for vlogging than the uh, old thing. And that's it, done. I mean... And that's it, done. I mean... This is phenomenal for outdoor filming and recording because it means that you can now forget about reshooting when you get planes above your head or helicopters or any noise that would normally mean you need to reshoot that video again. AI tools can help with things like editing, color grading, and motion graphics. AI algorithms can also analyze data about what people like to watch. It can also do things like adding captions and translating videos into different languages, making them more accessible and easier for more people to understand. Essentially, using AI can save you time, help you make better videos and increase productivity. The next set of AI tools that you're gonna see, in my opinion, will take this to the next level. The next in my list is ChatGPT and this tool has been the real disruptor and the one that everyone's talking about. AI tools have been around for a few years now but ChatGPT seems to be the catalyst for this mad rush that everyone is on to implement AI tools and workflows. Essentially, what ChatGPT is, is a conversational AI algorithm. Think of it as someone with the entire internet as the knowledge base, who is accessible to you at any time, as often as you want, and is not judgmental in any way. For video content creators, the possibilities, in my opinion, are insane. It can help you in generating new ideas for videos, or even help you writing them. You can use it to help you research a particular topic, idea, a concept or project. It can also help you in script writing by suggesting phrases, dialogue and even the correct structure. But not just for YouTube or social media, but for professional work and even films. For it is insane when you think about it. Imagine having a tool that will help you write and develop characters and plots whenever that inspiration comes and will never get tired either of you or whatever crazy nonsense that you might come up with. <laughs> this is not the future, this is the present. This is already here and it's just the tip of the iceberg. And the secret to get the best out of it is not to ask vague questions, but to be specific. What you need to understand is that ChatGPT is ultimately a robot, so it can and will give you incredible answers based on available facts. That's important to remember. Just don't ask it to write a love story about a man and a woman because it's just not gonna happen. It will give you some very generic answers based on whatever a robot thinks it's creative, which is probably 
far from what you think is creative. Just, just bear that in mind. If you ever dreamed about creating visually stunning artwork, but never thought you could articulate it in your head, let alone in words, you can now with Mid Journey. You use prompts to tell the AI engine what you want it to create, and it will go and create it from scratch based on those prompts. And you can also use images as a reference so the AI knows what you're looking for. This could be the position of the body or framing if you're creating a character as I did with Loretta, or entire scenes for landscapes and so on. The list is endless. This is great for concept creation, visualization, brainstorming ideas. You can create and test different visual looks. You can even create characters or concept art that you can then apply to your story or project. If you look at this tool and what it can do, and you're not excited about its potential, I don't know what else to say. AI is about to change the way we all work and you better jump on board or risk being left behind. Everything that you see here has been AI generated in mid-journey. The animation of my face, head and lips, as well as my voice in DID. The words edited in ChatGPT and all has then been upscaled to 4K using Topaz Video AI. This is just the start of a revolution in the way we all work and create. Just stop and think about what you are seeing right now. I don't exist. I am just a product of imagination, but it's only a matter of time before I could fully assist as a screen character. AI has just burst into the public domain. Just imagine what it will be like in a few years. What you've just seen was created with the Studio DID, and it's insane. I don't know you guys, but I feel really excited about the possibilities of this technology. It allows you to create videos that are AI animated from an image, and you can clearly see how well it does it. You can literally create an assistant like the ones I've had in this video, upload the text that you want them to say, and the AI will animate the mouth and head to mimic a real life person, even give them a voice that you can choose from. <laughs> there is still a lot of room for improvement, but you've seen what can be done in this video already. You can even upload your own voice and script, and the AI will animate the mouth to match your voice. What can this be used for? narration videos, instructional or educational, internal corporate videos. I mean, the list is endless. You can create human-like avatars, you can upload your own image, or even create some crazy sci-fi character if you want. The most difficult part will probably be creating the right voice to go with whatever character your imagination comes up with. Like, who the hell would give someone like me a voice like this? Unbelievable. Let me know in the comments below what you think you could use this AI tool for. I would love to know what you guys think about this or any of the other tools that I've shown in this video. Just stop and think about the possibilities of how you may be able to implement this into your videos. And the thing is, it's so easy to do. And if you want me to do more in-depth videos where I focus on one or two AI tools and I break them down for you and show you how to use them, just give this video a thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.